All right, good morning. Good morning, Bob. It's uh, Chef Buck here, and uh, you know, I don't know if it's morning where you're at or when you're watching this here, but it's morning here, and we're gonna make a pour over coffee. I got my carafe, I got my discount funnel. You can get a fancy pour over thing, but uh, a funnel will work. My preferred method dun, dun, dun. is the French press. This is the best way to make coffee. Because? Because it's, it's easier, it's quicker, it's faster. You know, if you don't have a French press, but you got a carafe, and you should have a carafe <laughs> if you have a French press, blah, 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 to keep the coffee warm, to keep it hot, because that's the problem with um, coffee that, in a coffee maker that sits on a burner, and it sits on the burner, and the burner burns the coffee, and it just makes it funky a lot faster. But let me go ahead and get the water started. You get some cold water, put it on a burner, and then we're going to bring it to a boil. But we're not going to use boiling water, but we're going to go ahead and get that started. Get a carafe, get a funnel, get a coffee filter, boom, boom, boom. And this is the entire setup uh, for your pour over. But the most important thing when you're making coffee is the beans. You always want to grind your beans. Freshly ground coffee makes the best coffee and you just got to find the beans that you like. And that's going to make all the difference. And today we're using Boom. Check this out. Holy cow. I cannot believe but 100% Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Man. I'm cheap. Anybody that watches my videos knows that I'm a cheapskate. But you know this costs a lot because it's got a little story. It comes <laughs> in a... It comes in a you know, burlap sack. A burlap sack. <laughs> like I like to use a uh, Kona uh, coffee and I buy it in the uh, bulk. Blah, blah, blah. And it's, you know, it's like uh, nine bucks a pound if it's not on sale. A lot of times we'll buy coffee that's on sale. You know, and I, and I end up paying about seven bucks a pound. Sometimes six bucks a pound if it's a super duper sale. But this coffee here... It's $22 <laughs> for eight ounces. So this is $44 a pound. Is this the most expensive coffee? No. No, it's not? No. You sure? Yes. Did it say in that story that it was? No. Because we read a story. We read a story a few months ago about the Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Mine. Oh, God. Yeah. And, you know, I think he was talking about it being $60 a pound. There, but even within the Jamaican Blue Mountain, there are certain beans that are better than others. So this is not Yeah, I don't know anything about it. This just happened to be the Jamaica Blue Coffee Mountain oh. that was at the store. I've been wanting to give it a try. Got burlap on me from my coffee bag. That's how you know it's good. Boom. My water's come to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off the heat and let it sit for one minute. And that's a good, you know, then it'll be at a good temperature uh, for a French press or this pour over. But actually, we're gonna actually keep it back on the burner on low for the pour over because it takes a little bit of time and I don't want the water to cool down too much. But the main thing is we got boiling water. We're gonna leave it alone for a minute because we don't want to put boiling water on our coffee. But since I got a minute, we're gonna grind up our beans. So I'm gonna do 30 ounces of coffee about. So I'm gonna end up putting 10 tablespoons of beans in here. Eh, we'll call that, we'll call that the right amount. You know, adjust the amount of uh, coffee grounds to water to find the taste that you like. Coffee subjective. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all I'm gonna grind it because with a pour over, you don't want it too finely ground. Otherwise, it'll be a muddy muck and it just won't pour through. It'll take you forever. All right, so we got our coffee grounds. Put them in the filter. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this uh, hot water into this uh, measuring cup because it'll be easier to pour. And you can order a pour over at a coffee shop. You know, and they've got all, they've got all this apparatus, you know, to achieve uh, your pour over coffee. All you need is a craft, damn funnel, and something to pour your hot water. But you want to pour it slowly so the water will seep through the beans. And you can hear it starting to, uh, 
to drip down there. Oh, that's the sound of goodness. <laughs> and so this is pour over coffee. We're just pouring it over the beans. So really it's just like a machine, except uh, I'm the machine. You're the machine. And you just continue pouring your water through and uh, letting it drain through the beans and then we're gonna end up with a bunch of uh, coffee goodness. And this is going to be the Blue Mountain coffee goodness, man. Hey. And this is one of the reasons why the French press is better. Because if this was a French press, then we would just pour the water on the beans in our little French press and boom, leave it for four minutes and it'd be done. You know, with this method, you know, I gotta hang around and a hulk over my dang uh, coffee. It's gonna taste really good though. It's just the French press is easier. If you like to micromanage your coffee, then this is the way to do it. All right, we're getting close. I've almost got all the water poured. All right, here's my last little bit to pour over. Now we'll let this drain. Now we'll be, we'll be set to go. Now what are we gonna have with our Jamaican blue coffee mine? Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, we got our... Uh, you bought... We got our day old... We, we got our day old cookies that we bought four days ago. So these are all, these are ancient cookies. So they'll really stuff. need to be dunked in the coffee. Dunked. We're gonna dunk discount co cookies in our blue Jamaican <laughs> whatever, man. When you eat a cookie in the morning, you call it an energy bar. <laughs> Coconut and white chocolate. I got dirt coming. I think it's done. I think it's done too. So once your, uh, once your pour over is finished dripping, Go ahead and quick as you can, put your cap on your carafe because making a pour over, you know, you have to be mindful that you don't let your water cool down too much. You don't want cold coffee. Now let's get our cookies arranged on a plate and we'll give it a taste test. Is it coffee time? It's coffee time. Now if you're having fancy coffee, you want to make sure and have a small cup. <laughs> that denotes luxury when it's dinky. All right, CG, go ahead and, and give it a try. That is good. Is it 44 bucks a pound good? Say, uh, say Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee, man. I'm not, <laughs> not saying it on camera. I've said it already. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you do pour over coffee. You grind your beans. Uh, you put it in a filter and then you pour water over it. Science. Amazing! Alright, I got some links below to uh, playlists and different things to check out. I'll put our, our put our French press coffee video somewhere around here and our cold brew coffee video around here. And uh, check out all our videos. And bye bye Amazing!